Welcome to today's episode of Llama Drives. It is New Year's Eve and we're driving to Melbourne. So I thought we'd do another one of these semi-regular chat shows that we do in the car while we're driving places. It's just a general talk show, a bit of bike banter about what we've been up to on two wheels, a bit of behind the scenes stuff and uh, come along, join the ride. How you doing, Dawn? You're looking very, very sparkly. I'm festive. Festive. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing after all your case? It's been a long, long Eight week, days. <laughs> week and a day. It has. On the new bike. All going very well. We've just jumped in the car. Apologies for the lighting. I can see the. we've done our best to try and get the sun off the camera, but it's... Apologies for the lighting. Um, hopefully you're here for the audio. So while we try and work out the sun... Oh, I think we just give up on the sun. Vaughn, you may be a little bright. I'm always, of course in, I am. I'm always sitting in the darkness over here. So the Festive 500, it's been a long, long, well, probably twice as amount of Ks that I usually do. Ron, you knocked it over today. Yeah, I pretty much could have knocked it over yesterday, but I thought I'd leave a few on the table to join ah. you today. So I finished the Festi 500 2018, another awesome year, ticked it off pretty steadily this year, pretty happy with that, Shane got his new bike, we did a few more kilometres together this year which was fun, in our new hometown of Ballarat together, and a bit of Horsham, that was good too. Now. 2019. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> Alrighty, well I have just done my last 40Ks yeah. and jumped straight in the car. I haven't even uploaded yet. You haven't uploaded I yet? I haven't uploaded yet okay. and I needed 40Ks. Alright, get into it. I want to see this uh, round or I uploaded mine today mm -hmm. and so the process went, you know, obviously do a ride, do the final upload. Yeah. Um, then the next item in the process was, it says that you've completed the challenge, then when it says complete, there's a button for you to click on okay. to then register for your either your electronic roundel or your um, digital badge. Now, if you go for the digital badge, they said they'll make a donation to a Bicycle Relief on your behalf um, to save on the postage and the, you know, the stitching of the badges, etc. But the, it's still free, you still get the badge yeah, sent to you. Okay, absolutely, cool. so you get that choice yep. as part of that process. Right. And um, yeah, so I downloaded the little sticker and put it up on my Instagram feed. So if you're in stories, yeah, actually you probably missed it already. But um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, this goes up. Here we go, Asiyama Duo, 40Ks. I had two uh, head units on today because two power meters um, and I needed the 40Ks. Ready, here we go, upload the activity and... So while I do this, how was your new saddle? The Specialized S-Works Mirage Mimic, Mimic. Vagine. You've done 500 Ks on that new saddle now? Yeah, I put it on literally for the first ride uh, at the start of the Festive 500. And uh, first ride seemed very similar to my previous saddle. Uh, I needed to adjust the tilt slightly. That was good. I think it was the third ride where I just I just wasn't feeling myself on the bike. And then I measured. I measured my seat post from the center of the bottom bracket uh, to the top. Mm, mm. And like the, 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 the actual kicker point for me was that the back of my, behind my knees was rubbing. Mm -hmm. So it was like, geez, I really haven't put on that much weight. Surely there's something else going on here. And sure enough, yeah, because I'd either, when I put the new saddle on, um, I would use the marking on the seat post, but I also used a marking on the saddle and the seat post was on a different frame before that, so the measuring points were not the same thing. So I was effectively riding for the first three days with my saddle 1.5 ah, centimetres lower ah. 
than I would normally. Now, anyone that knows anything about bike fits knows that that has a massive impact on how your performance is if on it's a, a bike. Yeah, if you go to a new saddle or a new bike, you might not pick that up straight away, but if it's on a bike that you've been on for a long time, and yeah, any small change, you'll pick up like instantly. So I can yeah. see why, because you've had a different saddle. Yeah, yep. and so then when I um, put the seat back up, uh, loved it, yep. didn't even need to adjust the angle on it, Yep. I already felt like I was in the right leg extension and I, you, I think you probably even noticed the last three days my riding has been improved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But maybe that's also riding into the fitness that I've, we've I've had. found that as well. The longer rides at the end, because mine was pretty lazy. I did 59 k's first day. I had yeah. the second day off Christmas Day. Yeah. Um, my ride time for the day, apart from, aside from the family time that we had, um, I did my new bike video. So yeah. I was sitting there editing videos to upload on Christmas Day. Yeah, it's you've already explained that. Kind yep. of what I do. Um, that was good though. Yeah. Um, and then I did the bare minimum from about there on. I'm just about to click on the Festi 500 and see how I've gone. I've just added some photos too from today. Oh, cool. Uh, Houston? Yeah. We have a problem. What's going on? Did you I'm operate I'm currently 17th and 45th place. Yeah. With 499 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shitting you either. It's got 499. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, now, we're going to Melbourne tonight, we're not going home, are we? No, but technically, don't you have an extra day with the US? Timing? If I started my watch activity now, yeah. and maybe pushed a little kid off his bike in Melbourne tonight, and uploaded, <laughs> seriously, four ninety nine. it's got last day, 99%. You know what? Take no, it's your, not good enough. Take your Festi 500. No, nah, it's not good enough. I want to see the Ks. It doesn't count. You're not going to get your woven round all. What a load of shock. <laughs> I thought it might have given us a bit of sway here and there. because It, does. it, it, it rounds up. It, it round... 499. So what does it round up to? It, it, you know it's going to be 100 metres. That's all I'll need. But I can't do it virtually. I can't do it running because we did our walk the other night. No, walking doesn't count. <sighs> all right. Shutting it down. Mm. Festive 499 hashtag. Join me next year for the Festive 499, which is much cooler than the fi 500. Who wants to do sure 500? Surely you can do something in the morning. What is? Five, you can't. It's, we, we are 8038. We have exactly four hours left in this year. Yeah, but like with the Nine, US time 10, zone, 11. doesn't that count? Because we started before them. It's an offset thing. Uh, Bye, go. Okay. And that's the end of that story. <laughs> um, Do they give rewards for close enough? Is it near, like, nearest the pin? There's higher bikes in Melbourne. I don't know if you'll actually be able to, oh, able to hire helmet. one because of the I, population. It'll only be a couple. No, it's a million right there. people will be on the waterfront tonight. <laughs> So I didn't even where, bring where my work pass if we needed to park at my work. I didn't where think put, of that. Where they put my lists. It's going to be interesting. Okay, well, festive fail hundred. Good stuff. Well done on completing it, Vaughn. Thank you. Um, I'm sure we'll come up with something. Let's brainstorm later. We will try harder next year. So, this week, yeah, I was riding a lot with Vaughn, and uh, yeah. A lot of good footage we had. Um, one of my favourite shots this week, apart from the sun being in your eyes right now, um, here on the camera, was the long road is long shot, which was with this GoPro out of the back pocket and just holding the camera up as high as I could and shooting the footage of you just down the road. I love those shots, um, mainly because it really shows how sparse and open and empty the roads are that we have here. Yeah. Um, which oh, okay, sure. hasn't been fun for some of the headwind sections. No, nah, uh, it did rain once on us. Oh, that was unplanned. Like, I had a really good route planned, and it was a hot day the day before, and we had a cooler rainstorm in the morning. 
and was, the shower came through in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, we woke up to thunderstorms, so it was really nice getting the sun of thunderstorms. Anyhow, maintaining the cadence here on the channel or on Llama Drives, the new bike. Um, people are asking how it's going, a lot of comments coming through. As I said, 40,000 views on the new bike build already, on the wow. new bike acquisition. I didn't build it, the guys at Shore Cycling built it up for me. All good, all good. It's just, uh, the, the brakes are just getting better and better. I've got to tinker with the brakes. I found out you can actually adjust the levers with the hydro, so they're a little bit sort of um, more twitchy, okay. rather than more squishy. Yeah. But you just know what you're going to grab. As soon as you grab the brakes when you come up to an intersection, you just know, the, it's just, what they've always said about consistency and braking, absolutely. It's yeah. just sweet. With rim brakes, um, well, with the big descents we've done, the racing we've done, things change based on the heat of the rim, the heat of the pad, uh, if it's wet, if it's a, you know, there's a bit of crust or grime in those. Um, yeah, loving the discs, really am. And the DI2, as you saw with my, uh, my follow-up video from the new bike, well, my first video on DI2, how easy it was to program, mm. that was cool. And uh, my buttons, even though it's a bit sort of awkward having the buttons on top, I did find myself when I was climbing, rather than reach down and click, I could just sort of reach up and just tap the top buttons and go up and down. That's pretty cool. I have the climbing shifters coming, so we'll go through the installation of that. Um, and many thanks to everybody who was across DI2 already yeah. for sending in their tips and helping me out. Oh, that's cool. Super yeah. cool. I'm, I'm not the master of DI2. I'm very, very far from it, but I'm stumbling through as a general consumer. As someone who's walked into the store, bought everything, got a general idea of how it all works and how it all fits together, but now I'm really digging into it. Yeah. And uh, people are giving me some tips. Um, I think the number one tip is to always do the firmware updates over a wire rather than wireless because it has been a bit nightmarish in the past for everyone. Well, the, I guess that's a good tip for everyone else to have a read through your comments. Uh, yeah, To sure. learn a little bit more. Yep, always, on, on any video as well. So a lot of people who already own the products will watch the video. Um, or potential buyers, or maybe even the product specialists who are out there. Oh, speaking of product specialists, and uh, yeah, thanks again to Wahoo for a free t-shirt. Today's t-shirt is sponsored by, well, it's, not, it's brought to you by Wahoo. I picked that up over in Atlanta when nice. I was over there. Um, I think that's my third uh, Wahoo t-shirt in a row for the, uh, for the channel, but free t-shirts, happy days. Um, so yeah, product managers also um, watch the comments because there's some good feedback in there. So uh, hopefully Giant, uh, looking at that, uh, a lot of people are asking me to do a head-to-head -head comparison with the TCR and the Propel. Are you going to buy a new bike? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Propel is the uh, more aero, probably sprintier, stiffer bike. Effectively, it's the Venge to the Tarmac. So why didn't you get one of those? I don't know. I like... Well, I'm not much of a pure climber, but I do like more of an all-rounder bike. The Propel, even though you can ride up hills on the Propel, I'm not a sprint pig. Yeah. I'm not a, you know, I, I've got a kick when I need it against the, you know, against a breakaway or something like that. Um, I've just always liked more traditional bikes and I did go with the round handlebars, not the integrated, normal stem so I can change that out if I need stem changes and mount things on the bike. So, okay. it didn't go too funky um, and I really don't need the aero gains. Um, yeah. Bike aero gains are a bit of a, bit of a toss to be honest. Sure, they're there, but I mean, you can save yourself five or six thousand dollars by doing this. That's all. Just this takes away like a ton of drag. All right. So there would be uh, comparison bike sessions anytime soon. Uh, no, not at this point in time. But you never know. We'll be over in uh, the tour, tour down under. Stuff uh, coming up there. So there's some canyon bikes over there that they do test rides with. There's other bike brands I can just rip about on. Um, I'm keen to, now that I know what I'm looking at with the bike, now that I've gone over my bike top to bottom with discs and hydros and DI2, I now know what I'm looking at rather than just dismissing it saying, well, yeah, I don't need that. Well, I don't actually need that. No one really needs all this new tech, but yeah, I can just see the differences between them all. So a bit of a more informed eye. Okay. So cool. Cool. All good. Um, what else? Um, ah, giveaways. I, I did a few of those the other... I mentioned the giveaways the other day. Now, I have to pull these out. We have the C-Sense uh, Ace Light Kit, the connected light set, front yes. and back, and the quad lock pack to give away. I also have some Zwift bottles to give away. That'll be done at a later date. Um, but I do have the um, random comment generator selection. Not, it doesn't comment random. It doesn't generate random comments. It selects random comments. So first up, 
let me get this screen recording here. This isn't live, but it's recorded live on here. So first up, it is the C-Sense Ace giveaway, which was done during um, our previous Llama Drives. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. I tell people to comment below, and all you need to do is comment below, and this little tool right here will actually jump on board and, oh, yeah, okay, mobile internet. One moment. And we're on, okay, cool. We hit go on this, we enter the YouTube URL, it'll scan through, unique number of comments on those, 268, and we can start the raffle and pick the random winner. Up, 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 up. Richard Mannion is the winner of the C-Sense light kit. The comment being, thanks for clearing, uh, clearing up the Peloton stuff, I thought you and Von were on the run. <laughs> <laughs> we still are. No, no, that's all sorted. They've sorted it out because there is no problem with the Peloton stuff. So anyway, Richard, um, I will ping you in the comments there. If you're watching now, comment below, hit me up on email. I can be found anywhere, gplumbergmail.com. Good stuff. Next up, the quad lock pack. Quad lock. Which we did doing the live stream giveaway. There's tons of giveaways. We haven't even gotten out of first gear of the giveaways. We've got tons more coming along. Yeah, do you have two quad lock packs? Or no, there were multiple ones. Uh, yeah, I've got another multiple quad locky pack, but the one that was on the channel the other day is the one we're drawing now. Okay. We've got a few quad locky things sitting there in the box. Yeah. So here we go. Do, 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 do. Drawing this one now. Unique number of commenters, 161. This was a live stream in the comments within the live stream. It's loaded 161, and the comment goes to, and the quad lock pack goes to, Rob Homer, or Rob Homer. Nice work, Rob. Good stuff, Rob. Thanks, Shane, for all that you do. Awesome. Happy days, Rob. Quadlock stuff coming your way. Again, I'll hit you in the comments. I won't hit you. I'll, I'll comment on your comment and let you know you're the winner. If not, get in contact with me with the email as specified before. Awesome. Were they both called Rob? Richard? No. And Rob? Definitely not. All the R's. That's great. So, Awesome. Some giveaways post Christmas. Uh, the uh, the other giveaways out went out the other day. Yeah, uh, the postage from Australia it takes ages. They've got to put them on a boat, and people have to like. Well, you know, there is a whole story about my New Year's Eve outfit that was supposed to arrive in the mail today. So this is just something I had lying around the house. <laughs> it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, one thing, speaking of postage in Australia, you'd really think Amazon would take off in Australia. It really hasn't. Um, no. Australia, our, well, with all the driving that we do, and you see the roads that we're on, and the roads that I've posted, there's big gaps between towns. It takes a while to get from A to B to C to D. So Amazon and postage, and it should just be here and kicking ass. It really isn't. The reason being, just FYI for non-Australians, um, Amazon took ages to come to Australia and open up their store. It was still a bookstore until about three or four months ago, I think. Yeah, it was this year. Before they did the launch of Amazon. It flopped, it failed, it sucked so hard. Um, because all the retailers here in Australia, especially the bike stores, um, and in the sporting goods, the technology side of things, things that you buy off Amazon, they've already done their own re retail stuff. They've already got their own sites set up, their own e-commerce solutions in place. So Amazon came along and everyone's like, well, we're done here, Amazon. What, do you, what the hell are you doing? Which kind of sucks. Um, but courier services, postage services, they're sort of stepping up their game a little bit. Um, we do use the Australian postage service to get these prizes out. So give it a week or two, they are on their way. Coming up tomorrow, cycling fans, Bay Crits. Yes, if you're not they're back. If you're not familiar with the Bay Crits, it is quoted as the fastest Criterium series in the world. Uh, just a lot of Americans who race a lot of crits over there would probably dispute that because you know, the US courses are pretty fast. Um, wasn't on last year and it's back this year. Now what they are, they hold three to four Criteriums New Year's Day onwards for a couple of days. Uh, a lot of professionals in town, a lot of international pros are in town because the weather's good over here. Um, so the international pros get to race this because the nationals, nationals, the Australian National Road Championships are on, well, Friday onwards this week, usually the week after or a few days after the Bay Crits, and only Aussies can race those. So it's a bit of a showing of some international stars. 
Yeah. Um, they will be live streamed. I, really, I, I do apologise for the light. I can see it bouncing off the camera and I can feel everyone squinting. There's a shadow coming up. It's all good. So they will be live streamed on SBS Cycling Central on Facebook. All three races. I understand our time zones are completely flipped for everybody, but if they live stream, then there should be some replays on there as well. Yeah. Links below to SBS Cycling Central on Facebook. Good commentary there by Maddie Keenan, Pat Shaw, who just happened to build my bike for me. <laughs> Good stuff, Pat Shaw. And a few others. Uh, I think Dave McKenzie is there as well. Um, so some really good cycling knowledge behind that. It's Tour de France style commentating for our, what's effectively our local races and probably the only professional road races in, in happening at the moment. Yeah, so the Summer Criterium series, there won't be anything more than, oh, sorry, between one to two hours. Each, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. With the so women's as well. Yep. Pro men's and a pro women's, I think, streamed. Yep. I don't think that they'll be streaming the support races. No. I know that they are holding support races, but um, I don't think that they'll be streaming those. I don't think so. Um, but tune in for those or the replays on SBS Cycling Central. Links below. SBS do a really, really good job here in Australia because we're typically starved of Eurosport content. Australia's pay TV thing is quite, um, it's hard to get to. Yeah. So watching professional cycling has been a struggle for us for a long time. So Cycling Central have really filled a massive gap there uh, with those streams. So that's pretty cool. So the next three days, one, two, three, Jan, one, two, three, obviously. Um, and then leading straight into on Jan 4th, the Australian National Criterium Championships in Ballarat, which we've just left. Um, yep. Right near home. This is going to be sunny. Yes. Oh no, we might be in luck. No sheep trucks? No. Nope. Um, so again, Australia's top race. I think Caleb Ewan has won it quite a lot. Yeah. Um, he's now racing for Lotto Sudal or Lotto whoever Lotto are calling themselves these days. Um, are they allowed to wear team kit? They are, aren't they, at the Nationals? Yes, they are. Yes. Um, from the 1st of January, they should be in their new trade kits. Bang! So this yep. will be the first time we see a lot of riders, new bikes, yep. new kit, new teams. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Yeah, because I've seen all of the Instagram posts today, everyone yeah. thanking their previous teams. So it'll be interesting to see. Like, we got High Five wrapped up this year as well. So there'll be quite a few Australian ladies uh, moving into their new teams for... 2019, so it'll be great to see what's announced. Um, yep. Some of the info has been leaked, but it'll be great to see them all ready and racing. Yep, good stuff. So the women's typically on before the men's, um, and hopefully they'll chop those two races together and put them up as a previously streamed live stream, so you can watch the replays, etc. So the Australian National Championships this Friday, it's going to be 37 degrees Celsius and a little windy. <laughs> oh, as a fan, as as on the sidelines, that's awesome. As, yeah. a, as a rider, oh damn, that's going to be a little warm. So 37 degrees Celsius, um, somebody can probably do the comments for me below about the calculations of Fahrenheit. Let's go with 101. Oh, okay. I thought 40 was 100. Hey Siri, what's 37 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 37 degrees Celsius is 98. Typical. I miss out on the Festive 500 by this much, and I screwed that up too. My estimate, don't use me for estimations at all. So, no, what was that, 98.799 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. That's going to be a little warm um, and a little windy. Yeah. Uh, the criteriums are, I think they're 40 laps plus three, I think, is it? Or is it an hour plus? Three? I'm not quite sure. But it's enough to pop a lot of people early on, mid-race, near the end, and onto the ground as well, because there's a few tight corners at both ends of the course. Interesting stuff to see again. Likely to be live streamed. Yeah. Get on board. It'll be happening Friday night, our time, which probably means 2 a.m. everywhere else. Yeah. And then you'll see our national criteria champ at the end. I was going to say our apologies, but no, take that, because we have to watch the Tour de France <laughs> in the middle of... Oh, it's horrible. So that should be pretty cool. Um, then coming on Saturday and Sunday at the road races at Bunningyong. You may have seen a number of videos I've done from the Bunningyong area. Um, I think one of my GoPro descent videos, um, we did a full course... Um, lap last year. Um, Bunningong is a brutal circuit. It goes up a hill, it goes top, across the top of a hill, it goes down a hill. Repeat that 16 times for the, uh, the pro race and uh, yeah, brutal stuff. Keep an eye on that, keep an eye on our Instagrams um, and keep an eye on the official channels of uh, Cycling Central, Cycling Australia, Veronica, myself. <laughs> We're the official channels, are we? We're the official now? channels. <laughs> are fun. Are fun. Behind the scenes. 
Yeah, well, I can tell you what. I'm going to be taking... Uh, Esky? Esky or Chili Bin. No, there's a Chili Bin for our friends in... Um, New Zealand. New Zealand. Uh, it's an Esky, which is known as a, a ch- cold box. I don't know. What are the USA called? Chiller? Uh, ch- ch- chillers? Cooler. Cooler. Coolers. Coolers. Yeah. We'll take our coolers up there, which we call Eskies. Oh, I had a... Had a... Um, Esky injury just the other day. Oh no! Yeah. I was, oh, ice, a bit ice related because you put no. ice in the esky to keep things cool. No, no, no. So I did the the combo deluxe, having to smash the ice and then throw it in the esky. So that was all good. It's a you got to stand around and smash ice. Yeah. 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 Many times. Mum actually came out with a meat hammer, which I just laughed because I'd just been throwing the ice on the ground. No, no. You got to throw the ice on the ground. It's the Aussie way to go. Oh, like, you got to smash amazing. the ice on the ground. It was amazing. It was amazing. And then. Um, as I was filling it with the different drinks, we had like these three packs of beers, um, which we hadn't had before because normally you get a six pack. And one slipped out the side of the carton and hit the side of my foot with its um, metal cap and then smashed all over the concrete ground as well. And so then my foot just started <laughs> bleeding <laughs> and then there's beer everywhere and glass everywhere. It made an, a very loud noise and it was a beer related slash esky injury. That's a very uh, Australian summer, uh, yeah. uh, I was going to say workplace injury there, but uh, <laughs> That's I not smashed, quite me, smashed me beer and I'm bleeding everywhere. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. I had to get someone else to sweep up the beer. <laughs> this was after, this is, sorry, okay, to, to, to steer this one back on topic, this was your recovery drink from your Festi 500Ks, yes? Oh no, I wasn't actually drinking the beer, I was just prepping for the party that we were... That's very un-Australian. How can you not drink beer? Who doesn't drink beer? (laughs) (laughs) It's good hydration. Alrighty, alrighty, again, giving the cadence up on this one. Alright, alright. It's Christmas, we're having a bit of fun. (laughs) My foot's okay, by the way. Thanks for asking, I I didn't even ask. Sorry. (laughs) So, today's giveaway. Bit of an obscure, this one. Bit of a longbow. Bit of a phantom straw. I made that word up. Now, here's what I need people to do. It may not even be for you, for, for the win. Okay. If you have a friend yeah. or somebody that you know who uploads to Strava regularly, yeah. rides their bike, who uses a Reflect or Reflect Plus head unit, link me below to their rides, so I can double check this, that they're using a yeah. Reflect, because in, uh, in Strava it says what head you used up to. Yeah. That's it. That, that, just, just do that for now. So they can't be private. Otherwise, you won't no. be able to see. Well, yeah. So if you've got a friend who has... Just see how yeah. you go. Maybe, yeah. I was going to say screen cap it and send it, but that can be altered. Yeah, just send me the link to their Strava or a couple of Strava activities. If you have a friend who is on an old school head unit, the Reflect or the Reflect Plus from Wahoo, um, which all it really does is, the reason why it's called Reflect, it just reflects because you load the app on your phone yeah. and it reflects the data on your phone to your head unit and you put it in your back pocket and away you go. It's kind of cool. It saves oh, okay. battery. The batteries last forever on the things, and people do love them. But cool. Again, okay. if, even if you are the person with a Reflect or Reflect Plus, let me know. Let me know, and we'll follow this up soon. That's today's giveaway. Bit obscure. It's worth it though. Cool. So, that'd be great if you could do that. All right, Yvonne. That's all I have on the list here today. It's been uh, pretty quiet on the um, the content front because we've been out riding our bikes. <laughs> A That's lot. given me plenty of content. Thanks for the pictures each week. I have to say that the photos that have come out of this GoPro really have been oh, well, absolutely mint. Yeah, that's really taken good. just FYI on how I've set that up. So I use 4K um, resolution, 60 frames a second with stabilization. Um, no Pro Tune, just as it is on the camera with the yeah. latest firmware. So uh, 4K, 60, wide, stabilized. Yeah, wide, I forgot Oof. that bit. Um, that's what I use on the camera. Oh, at the moment, it's on 1080, so I can record longer with a shorter file, and we don't really need much detail here, except for your top, which is like a fish. I'm a fish. Uh, Festi fish. <laughs> I'm a moon man. We are not to mention the Festi 500 anymore. Okay? We cannot mention the Festi 500. It's a bit of a all sore right, point all right, all right. in more than one spot. Um, so, <laughs> with the camera, I just pull it out of the pocket, put it up as high as I can, and film a movie. 
And then okay. we take it, the stills from those movies at 60 frames a second are just absolutely spot on. The camera itself has a photo mode, which is probably even better res or better quality and all that, but you've sort of got to get the right timing for that. With the 60 frames a second, you can even get your, the pedal stroke in the right spot. Oh, to where your leg looks good. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's no hope for me. <laughs> that's what I've been doing, and uh, that's been good. So again, there's a reason why we gave the GoPro um, in our round table with Dez and Ray oh, okay, and myself. Yeah. We gave the GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black pretty much the tick of approval for product or sports cam that we like of the year. Yeah. Because it just works so well. I'll also just snip it in here while we're talking about the camera. My descent down uh, Devil's Kitchen descent yesterday on yesterday's ride. Yeah. I had the camera mounted on the stem cap with the bar fly mount. I should cover that in another video because I'm placing the cameras in different spots. Yeah. I use Super View, which is even wider than what you're seeing now, I think. Um, I'm not quite, can't recall what I've got this code. Oh, actually, no, it's, it, is, it's, it is in wide at the moment. So it captures my hands, it captures everything. No gimbal. But as I'm going down, the, oh, I'll play the footage just here, and you can see that this looks so gimbal-like. It's, it's unbelievable. Super cool stuff. I had to drop the resolution back on this to 2.7K for super view with stabilization. Okay. Again, there's some things that you need to take two steps forward and one step back to get all the features. But 40, uh, yeah, 4K, 60 frames, stabilized. It's Christmas. Yeah. Well, Christmas is done, but uh, hopefully, fun, fun hopefully, day out. hopefully some people got to uh, GoPro for Christmas as well. If not, pick one up in the Boxing Day sales or Ooh. the New Year sales or something like that. Links below yeah. to my Amazon link, which is in the US because Amazon Australia sucks. It's um, all good. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks for coming, Von. Thank you. Thanks everyone for, uh, again, the uh, the likes, the views and the comments, um, the subscriptions to the channel. So if you just hit subscribe, 75% of viewers aren't subscribed. If you what? hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. That really helps things tick along and really helps the YouTube algorithm, which we need to uh, keep on top of all the time to keep things ticking along. So that'd be great. Hit subscribe, hit like, give us a comment. Let us know. Let us know if you or your friend uses that Reflect or Reflect Plus. Yeah, happy 2018 and bring oh, yeah. on 2019. Happy New Year. Woo! We may already be there before everyone else. Yeah. Except New Zealand and their chilli bins. They're already there. Damn it, they've been throwing ice already, haven't they? Yep. All right. See you later, everyone. It's been a great year. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the views. It's most important to me. And uh, see you soon. Thanks, fun. Thanks. Bye. So my uh, my four ninety nine. Yeah. Yep. I actually did the extra K. I was just having you on. I, I went and rode one extra K just in case this would happen. <laughs> Were you cutting it that fine? It it was it was cutting that fine. So I I literally I did actually go and ride the extra K. No way. <laughs> no way. Ballarat. <laughs> <laughs> What do we call this one? We call this one... Um... Festive one kilometre. <laughs> uh, one km to make Festive 500. <laughs> 500. Done. <laughs> nice. Always have a backup plan. Or if not, fudge it somehow. But I did the extra K here. In the back Actually, blocks. well, technically I did 1.15 case. Excellent. In the back blocks. And now we're going here to click on my little okay. rondelle. 500, 501 kilometres. So it must have been 150 metres that I missed out on. Really, I'm now 100% completed. We're done. Woohoo! Sorry for stressing everyone out. Epic troll. <laughs> Happy New Year.